So you've been here long for the party? Um, just from 10 o'clock. I don't know when you guys met. Well, yeah. everyone's been travelling from all over Scotland yeah. and some from down south. So it's oh been God. quite a... A long morning yeah, already. Yeah, it's been a long process of hard yeah. We got there in the end. <laughs> All right, so when did you come up with the idea for today? First day, uh, we saw Ken Holmes at work with him before, but um, he asked me, he said, I'm going to go and get a studio. Would you be interested in getting a particular oh, to the shoot? So that's probably been last month. So we've not had long to organise it, but sometimes we're just dragged out, we just feel like we'll draw out. And so it's quite good just to have a set date. And that's it. Just and that's it. Just go for it. And uh, Gareth, how did you come involved with the um, I work with my hobbies well, so it's that kind of thing. Like, do you have a job this week? Oh, uh, you know, they say that I'm too short today. So it's just like one of those things. Yeah. I mean, because like, I'm very persistent. Persevere with it. So um, she came up with the idea. I was like, well, of course I would. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. And do you find it something that you come across a lot in modelling? You know, if you're at a certain height that it's problem or? To be honest, that's the main thing. Well, personally for me, yeah. the biggest thing is the height issue. Yeah. yeah. No, like, like you see the castings and stuff, it's like models of a 5D, stuff like that. Especially when it's just for a makeup shot, mm -hmm. it's like a headshot. It's how can you tell the difference yeah. between yeah. a picture as well. Mm -hmm. That's one thing that we're trying to get across from today too. Yeah. Because we've got inspiration from America's Next Top Model. Yeah. And, love that too. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and they had the height chart idea. So uh, it was when they were doing their petite section mm -hmm. as well, but all their models were over five foot seven again, which isn't petite yeah. in the fashion industry as well. Mm -hmm. So today, what we're hoping to do is, because all my wee girlies are petite, we're going to have the height chart, and all our heights are going to be shown on the pictures. Oh, really? And you're going to put it against the American Next Top Model to much show much you can't really much. tell the difference. No. Uh -huh. But it, like height's only a number oh, as well. So I mean, that's only one of the ideas we've got for today too. Oh, really? I mean, we've been doing um, surveying for the public, yeah. asking what they think Why the average height sense. of a woman is. And it's quite interesting. Someone thought it was six foot one. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. When, um, it's, when I've done a lot of research in Ailey as well, it's five foot four is the average height. Four. Yeah. And you'd think the fashion industry want to make their money, they would think majority of people, that's where our audience should, exactly. that's where our target audience should be. Yeah. But it's not, they claim five foot seven. But when you look at a picture, you can't tell the yeah. 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 So that's what your folks now really say. Yeah. Show to show, mm -hmm. show difference. And to show as well that small girls can model and show off clothes because we've got I think, four different designers today as well that yeah. brought us clothing. So, I mean, I don't think there should be a height limit. I mean, discrimination really. Yeah. And it's put up a lot of luck. I do a children's person as well, a yeah. student. And in my last placement, there's been three girls coming with overdosing because they don't look like the celebrities and they're not like models and they just think they're worthless as well. I don't know if you guys have come across people like this. Um, a model has been told to like, lose weight and things mm -hmm. they're not the perfect ideal shape. Yeah. Then again, what is the ideal shape? Exactly. So that's something that your book's on as well. It's yeah. not just type issue, but it's also sizes. Yeah. Do you have any plus size models? Yeah, we've got yeah. Rihanna. She's curvy. We, want to, we don't want to get a plus size. Yeah. She's say, yeah. curvy <laughs> as well. <laughs> and um, I, we think everyone's you know what I mean, gorgeous in their own way. It's like they shouldn't have to like die or anything mm -hmm. to, I mean, yeah. even Ailey, she's a clothing designer herself, so I mean, she'll be one to interview as well about <laughs> fashion like too. Um, uh, and to be honest, I think I've seen like our group, there's like almost every size, like yeah, every individual, yeah. yeah. And I mean, I've got a makeup artist it. as well who's petite and she like supports what we're doing fully. She can't she couldn't come today because she's got two young kids. Mm -hmm. But um, she said as well that she fully supports what we're doing and it's given her confidence as well mm -hmm. because she finds it hard to go out shopping to find clothing. Yeah. Because even though the high street is hard. Say oh, I know. Yeah. We yeah. always have to get things altered as well. Yeah. And they say there's a petite section of clothing, no, but there's, there's not. not. Yeah, I know my flatmate back home, mm -hmm. she's like five foot and she has to cut everything in half, like yeah. jeans and stuff. I yeah. feel yeah. like yeah. maxi dresses, like yeah. stuff you yeah. think, oh, that's in the petite section, but when you wear it, it's like, no, it's something for five foot ten. Mm -hmm. um, and I think, is it not? 
correct me if I'm wrong, but like in like Dorothy Perkins and things, their petite sections for so five foot three and under. So there's a gap from five foot three, well five foot four up. Yeah. So it's like where does everyone else fit in? Yeah. I think there's like a huge gap in the market and if we can promote this bigger and better, then hopefully someone out there will think, oh they've got a good idea and try and sorry if I'm being a bit vague today. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> But I mean, we're always looking for new members and things to try and a lot of girls as well have said since they've joined the group, they've had more confidence and they feel like more comfortable with themselves. Mm -hmm. Because before they felt, oh, I can't do fashion modelling, they've had to go down the route of glamour modelling. I don't know if you guys are the same, but when I first started out modelling, I've been doing it for five years, I got told by um, a lot of photographers that I would never make it as a fashion model or for, yeah, for beauty or anything like that. I should go into glamour because I've got the, the perfect body for glamour. Yeah, I don't see myself having the big boobs or anything, so mm -hmm. I don't know who as well. I don't know what no. you guys. Yeah. I think yeah. to be honest, you find people that push you towards something that you don't really want to. Yeah. But um, at the end of the day, I mean, like with a group, it's really helped because I mean, there's that comfort saying that other girls in the same position yeah. as I am. I want to do fashion. I just don't want to do glam. I mean, that's what people think. If you're below five foot seven, the only option left is glam. Mm -hmm. glamour. And that's another message yeah. that we want to get across as well. It's you don't have to be forced into something you don't want to do. I mean, once you go down the glamour route, you can't go back into fashion because yeah. you're known yeah. as a glamour model. I mean, that's mm -hmm. how it perfectly teaches you. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's obviously it's not like an agent who promise, like, no, you know, no, it's not, not to yet. promise people work, it's just to be there for each other. So. Mm -hmm. And it's like, if we all work together to promote it, yeah. then, you know what I mean, more people will be made aware of the group. And, I mean, we've got, like, a few events and things in the pipeline, but... I mean, so we're working with maybe hopefully Radio Tay yeah. as well and hoping to do like some event there to raise money for Cash for Kids because we feel as well if anorexia's happening young, we need yeah. to kind of nip it in the bud now. Yeah. So raising money for Cash for Kids would be a good idea to promote, obviously, for good funds, it's a good idea mm -hmm. at the same time, but we're getting the message across that we need to stop anorexia. Now, I mean, not only girls is it affecting, it's guys too. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like, have you any male models? Not yet, but, not yet. Yeah. but we're hoping to like open yeah. it up to males as well. We just want to get more established first. Cause yeah. I think if you start off too big too soon, people lose interest. Yeah. And if you're not, you know what I mean, grabbing people's attention now, then. And I think a lot of guys are quite shy to admit they're small, so I think yeah. as well that would be... even worse for guys. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. they have to be, is it not 5 foot 11 to yeah. be in for an agency? And guys aren't that tall either. I no. can't remember what the average no, height. Um, average height for guys, I think, depends a bit on country, but it's about 5'9 or 5'10. Yeah. And for agency, you have to be over 6 foot. Yeah. And then they have to obviously have like the muscly body, you yeah. can't be like the stick then.